Hello, my name is Terry Miner, and this is my wife, Hannah, and this is our newborn baby. So we started believing to um, have our little blessing, and um, uh, we lost our first one. Um, that baby went to heaven, and then our second, and then our third. So um, that was uh, definitely a time of trial. Um, after my third miscarriage, they had to go and check to make sure everything was, you know, cleared out. And so then I was supposed to meet with the doctor that day. So this is a totally different doctor. I'd never seen her before. And she walked in the room and she was, and she, the first thing she did, she gave me a hug. She said, everything's going to be all right. She said, I have the same exact condition that you've been going through. She said, and um, I want to be your doctor with your next child. And we're going to see to it that this child it um, is healthy and beautiful, and uh, I, I want to walk you through like the whole process. Um, so we believe that was definitely divine. And then right after that, we had another confirmation when we came to Texas, and um, Kenneth Copeland, you know, brought us up front and prayed over us. And about this time next year, <laughs> you will have a beautiful, healthy child. With this one, I was like, it's gonna be easy. You know, God has spoken through Kenneth Copeland and I've received this healing and I, and I know because I felt it, like I felt it uh, when he prayed over me that day. And so, um, so anyway, so we found out we're pregnant, which we were celebrating. I think I'd just gotten back from, we'd both gotten back from the gym that day and I just found out so I surprised Terry and told him and uh, we went for one of our first appointments and we're so excited we'd gone downtown that day and had you know a lot of fun together and then we went to our appointment and as soon as I got home I remember I went to the bathroom and I said Terry I said and I came out of the bathroom and I was like he's like what what is it I was like I was like, I'm having signs again of miscarriage. I said, and I didn't even, you know, we had just found out. I just gone to the doctor. The excitement was there. You know, we were ready because we knew, and I knew in my mind, like, no, this is going to be an easy pregnancy because I'd been speaking it, you know, and I know the promises God had for me, and I know what He had spoke to Kenneth Copeland to me. And, and Terry was so quick to take me by the hand. He's like, sit down, sit on the couch. Everything's going to be okay. He said, um, he said, Hannah, he said, we are going to see this child in nine months. He said, God has promised us this child, and Satan is a liar, and he's trying to throw deceit at us. He said, but we're not. We're going to choose not to believe that. We're going to choose to believe what God has for us, and God said that this child is going to be here in nine months, and so that is what's going to happen. As Christians, if we choose to be excited after we receive a word, and then something start looking different, or it seems like it's turning in a different direction, and get down, then what does that say about us? That should, that should be an indicator, do we really believe this word that was given to us from the Lord? Are we calling God a liar? Or are we gonna say, you know what? I believe God, God cannot lie. He will never lie. Perfect love casts it out all fears. So no matter what happens, there's no excuse to walk in fear. So then I went back to the doctor and um, she said, I want you to be on bed rest um, until these signs stop. And, I, and I'm like, no, I said, I can't just sit here on the couch. I said, I'm gonna feed myself the word. So, so that day, I think we'd even turned on um, Gloria and Kenneth Copeland and their healing school. And so for two months, it was just about two months of me sitting on the couch. Um, I don't think many family members knew, nobody really knew until recently after we had him that we kind of went through this time. But but, um, but I literally sat there and I spoke the word and I fed myself the word because I wasn't going to allow my mind to look at the signs that were happening to my body and, and allow my mind to get in fear and my heart to get in fear and worry because that's not what, you know, God gave us that word from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And it's so important that no matter what healing you're believing for, even if God does give you a word, you can't let go of that promise. No matter what trial or obstacle tries to come up, no matter how hard it seems. And I feel like there's so, so many that they start feeling that healing and they know it's going to be easy and then they start straying away from it. And that was something that I had to learn not to do. And I think that was something that God taught me that was so huge during this whole pregnancy because for two months I could choose to sit there and give in to the fear and give in to the worry, or I could choose, like, no, I'm going to step by faith. God has a promise for every single believer, but every believer has to do their part and stand for the promise. 
God will tell you something or show you something that is to come. But until it arrives, the enemy is going to try to scream, kick, punch, throw words out there, but you cannot give in to what he wants you to do. He's, he's a defeated foe. Keep him in his place as being a defeated foe. If he's already defeated, don't be moved by someone who's already lost. Be moved by the word because when we are moved by the word, we win.